Hello everyone and welcome to part two of graphic novels. Now, I know what you're dying to do. You've written your story, you've got an idea of what's happening, and now you want to get pen and paper out and start drawing all those pictures. For me as a writer, the best bit is writing all the dialogue. I love doing the dialogue. But here's the problem. If you start now, you'll go off at a tangent. You'll waffle. You'll create something that's got no structure at all. And structure is everything in the narrative. This is what I call my beat board. Now the beat board lays out all the points in the story that are going to happen. And it's not random. If you look at graphic novelists, a lot of them have worked in the film industry. They've created um, story maps for films that have happened. Or they've come from that world and gone into graphic novels. And all of those follow the same sort of structure. They have a beat board. They have a structure to the story. It tells you where you start, what the world is in at the beginning, what your main character is like, who they're going to meet. What is it that changes their day, their week, their life? What is the moment that sends them on their journey? What point in the story is there no turning back? At what point does it look like everything is lost? They're never going to win. At what point do they rally round and come through and be the hero of your story? Now, I know what you're thinking, I want to be free, man. I want to do what I want to do. You can be free. But to be free, you have to understand what you're being free of. You have to understand what the rules are before you break them. So alongside this little bit, there's going to be a link to a document. The document is the beat board. It tells you what needs to happen where. I'm not saying you have to do all of it. But I'm saying look at it and work out your story. What is happening where and when to your character. And then, then we can start on the nice bits. All right. Take care. See you soon.